that speed though. Now we can go into super form if we feel like it, which makes us uh, about on par as a regular Sonic in terms of speed and agility. Oh, not anymore! <laughs> Damn. I swear that was not intentional. We could probably go up there, but I don't feel like it. Fog! The chicken turrets are a lot more dangerous uh, in this game than they were in the past. That much is certain. But not a whole lot. If you're not floundering around like an idiot, you ought to be just fine. Whoops, that wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, screw your springs, man. I can go by myself. Amazing music. I mean, there's not much I can say about the game itself. I mean, it's really one of those bad cases where you got a fucking good game, but that good game don't have much to talk about. A one up. Too bad I can't fucking pick it up because the damn thing is blocking my way. Whatever. I don't need it. I'm tougher than the rest of them. The best of them. <laughs> I'm tougher than Lever. This will be useful. That section is incredibly difficult to get into, and then you're playing the faster characters, I gotta say. Oh shit! I just realized how close I was to getting hit there. That would have been not beneficial. I kinda like my shield, thank you very much. Now, despite being Knuckles, that doesn't mean anything in terms of your uh, bumper ball pushing power. Still gotta use the same techniques to push the bumper balls. In fact, I'd say the bumper ball pushing power solely depends on how fast you are, and in Knuckles' case, he might be the weakest. Which is odd, considering that he's supposed to be the strongest in terms of, well, raw muscle. <laughs> ah! Bitch! Careful when pushing this bitch around in that little section with all those spikes. You can get yourself easily spiked. Oh, thank goodness that actually hit. Because a lot of times, it doesn't. Why did he drop down? That was weird. Oh no, my rings! My bonu! Motherfucker. The same thing with the... Uh, with the spikes can happen right after beating the boss, so make sure not to just let go while the spikes are still around and the boss is still blowing up. Because they take a bit to go, to go away, and... well... You just wouldn't want to lose all those rings you've collected at the very, very end of the stage, now would you? Well, I speak from terrible experience, unfortunately. Guess I lost nearly 300 rings there through my own dumbassery. Ugh. <laughs> Feels awful, man. Okay, now I know there's a fucking bubble shield somewhere around here. I've been able to find it. I just don't quite remember where. Are you here? No? Where the fuck are you? I know it's somewhere here. Just can't tell where exactly. Get up there. Good job. I think it's actually up there where the conveyor belts are. I think I know where it is. I think I can see it, but... These damn belts are not helping me. One more time. Fuck it. They just keep pushing you too much, so it's too much of a hassle to get in there. Unlike here, because I'm Knuckles. I'm tougher than the rest of them. 
and as such I can gracefully glide over this uh, annoying obstacle. Nah, yeah, fuck this. <laughs> See how much better it is to be super? Feel super, man. <laughs> My shitty puns are unstoppable. Much like these uh, challenges. They simply can't stop me. I am unstoppable to these challenges. Can I just... <laughs> of course! <laughs> Fuck your elevator. I can just leave. <laughs> I wonder what's up there. Well, I'm not gonna check it out. I just don't have the means to get up there very safely. That's cute. <laughs> Seriously, when it comes to platforming challenges, Knuckle just breaks them in half. That is, of course, unless your jump starts to malfunction for some reason, because I'm pretty sure I was pushing the jump button, but I didn't want to fucking jump. So that's probably more of a problem with my controller than anything, because it's an Xbox 360 controller. Ugh. Just uttering the name makes me feel bad. Now I want the other box! Damn it! Thank you. Seriously, just uttering the name Xbox 360 controller just makes me want to upchuck this. Ugh, the controller fucking sucks. This D pad is crap. It fucking wears out my thumb like nothing else. And yes, I'm playing with this fucking controller because I can't afford any new ones. At least not yet. Sucks to be poor. <laughs> Whatever, in my case, sucks to not have a fucking job. But no worries, I'm working on it. Don't worry about it. I'm not going down there. Screw that shit. And now we should be heading to the boss. Yep, here it is. Now the good thing is, if you get to the boss already in the super form, the boss music will play, which is uh, a lot more desirable. Bye bye. <laughs> so much for you, filthy beast. Wow, they're so synchronized too. They must be twins. 14 lives already. There's no way in hell I can lose this game now. Much like all other characters, Knuckles is also pretty capable of getting frozen and uh, making the most out of it. Surprisingly enough, you can't glide into the ice to break it. That's weird. Like, I don't understand why that is. Oh, this is a thing from uh, Mr. Cave Zone, isn't it? I don't understand why you can't glide into the fucking ice as Knuckles. He should be able to break it. Oh, that's a bottomless pit. Oy vey! But that's a new discovery. One that I was not looking forward to. That guy can stay there. He is not important. See, we got a little bit of Mystic Cave Zone for you. <laughs> Though probably not enough for some people. Fuck that pecker. And fuck that bottomless pit too. I wasn't looking forward to this discovery. But yeah, seriously. I mean, I understand if you can't spin dash, spin dash into uh, the ice, because uh, that would just make some of the challenges a little too easy, but not being able to glide? Why not? That's just odd. Oh! 
camouflaged piece of shit. Didn't even notice him. That ice bomber bug is a little annoying, I gotta say, but he is very essential for some of these areas. Because without him, we should have sure shit in getting past some of these areas. Plus, it helps because uh, it can break these icy spikes for you. Very useful if you just want to get through the place. Yeah, see, it's it makes sense that you're not able to break the ice uh, there when you're just going up the place. That's fine. But why not when you're, you know, gliding? You have spiky knuckles after all. Why is that such a big deal? <laughs> Amazingly enough, being in ice protects you from Robotnik monitors. Very helpful, I gotta say. Because otherwise, I would have been hit. Yeah, look at that. It's not actual regular spikes, it's Astron sideways. It's fucking hilarious. I love that. Such a multi purpose robot, isn't he? I'm surprised the, the slicers and uh, the crabs didn't make a comeback, though. Because everybody loved those, right? <laughs> I know I did. Well, I, I like the slicers, but I'm sure as shit didn't like the fucking crabs. Their hitbox was always bullshit. If you want to avoid death from Astrons, no worries. Just make the most out of your frozen state. Because nothing can hurt you while you're frozen. Oh! But they couldn't protect me from that! <laughs> Gracefully slide into the bombs. Oh! He's becoming a bit more difficult to hit, I see. And there he goes. Get out of here, bitchka! Good job, Knuckles and Knuckles. But you know, why stop here? Why not have Knuckles, Knuckles, and Knuckles? Why not have more? Oh, Robotnik, didn't know you subscribed to me. Son of a bitch. No wonder the views have been tanking lately. <laughs> ah, Stardust Speedway. With Knuckles, this is gonna be Stardust Slowway. <laughs> Cause he is sure as shit ain't fast. Of course, he is capable of catching up some good speed, but it takes quite a bit more effort. I don't care though. Cause the music is fan fucking tastic. I'm surprised he didn't get crushed there. Damn light bugs and their invincibility cheats. Always knew they were a bunch of bullshit. I'll be pretty surprised if I can beat this uh, run in just two hours. Or maybe even less, because I mean, it's Knuckles. He's supposed to be slower, and yet I can, if I can beat it at the same speed as the regular playthrough, well, call me surprised, but I suppose I've gotten better. <laughs> what I would find pretty fucking surprising is if I can get that achievement to beat uh, one of the acts here in under a minute with Knuckles. That would be fucking weird! Get the achievement for speedrunning with the slowest character? How the fuck? <laughs> Though I would love to see how that happens. If somebody actually has done it, I wanna see it. Cause that just sounds fucking hilarious. <laughs> I'm pretty sure someone has done it. Thing is, finding that person and that video it's gonna be a challenge of its own right. And if you're the one person who has done it and you're watching this right now, let me know. I'd like to see you break this game's uh, achievement in half. <laughs> Whenever you pick Knuckles, you're definitely picking him not for the speed though. All things considered, you're picking him for the ability to explore, because he is a, a capable explorer after all. 
he can climb on walls, he can glide. He's perfect for exploring new areas and uh, new routes that you've never seen before. Unlike Sonic and Tails, where, where the best you can get out of them is some limited amount of flight. Here, you can glide as much as you feel and uh, climb walls. Very useful. Come down here, bitch. Gotcha. I love this mini boss theme, actually. It's very catchy. Oh shit! It's like they're powering up the fucking death laser or something. Down here, please. Ooh, that was actually pretty lucky. I was pretty sure I would get hit there. Guess not. Okay, which one am I? Oh, I, I know which one am I now. Jesus. <laughs> I start going to the right, but the fucking clone goes first for some reason. Pretty cool likeness, huh? Oh wait, we do have Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles. Cool. And we do get our own transition to the future too. This is great. With two Knuckles too. <laughs> they really did think of everything, did they? This is fucking brilliant. Hey, where'd you go? <laughs> You're supposed to help me out, not go on your own damn adventure. A lot of people complain that this place gives them motion sickness. <laughs> I can kinda see why. I don't get motion sickness though. <laughs> so the best I can say is... I feel sorry for you. <laughs> Because I have had motion sickness. I usually have it when I'm in the car. And man, it just does not feel good. The worst part about it is that it lingers on for so damn long. For me at least, it lingers on for at least a day. And that just sucks. Now of course after a while it, it's not as bad as uh, while driving. But it's still not a pleasant feeling. You feel like you've... Like you've been ill for some time. Like you had a flu or something and you're just recovering. It's not a pleasant feeling. If you get motion sickness from video games, dude, I don't know what to tell you. But you sure as shit didn't win the genetic lottery. Is this how you get the achievement? Just glide? <laughs> Oh, here we go. Made it. Made it 33. What the fuck? I got here faster with Knuckles than with Sonic. By, by a whole four seconds. This is bullshit. What the fuck is this? <laughs> My circuits are malfunctioning. Help. This is what you get when you're running Windows Vista, bitch. Oh, wait, never mind. It's running Ubuntu. It's having a kernel panic. <laughs> yes, attack the clone, not me. The clone doesn't feel anything. Hey, where'd he go? I saw him for a moment, then he disappeared, and then he came back. That's just weird. Oh! You can see a very nice sign saying Star the Speedway in the background. I think I brought it up the last time. Alright. Show me your worst. Whenever Silver Sonic is shooting out his claw, do not attack him. It will hurt you. It counts as hitting a spike, actually. And that's not good. I love how Silver Sonic from the 8-bit games even has the same sound effects. Very thoughtful of the, of the developers. Though, not entirely necessary. Still, not necessary doesn't mean not fun to include. And it is very fun to include. It's a very nice homage. I 
just be just so you know it doesn't necessarily come from the game gear games the games that all s where silver sonic is also in uh, also happen to be on the master system which in brazil is incredibly popular <laughs> and i have no idea why all i know is that uh, a company called tech toy have really got themselves a gold mine with that thing at least for a a really long time. Much longer than the damn thing actually survived in every other country. It's quite a spectacle of life. Oh! I will take the speed boost, thank you. Great. <laughs> Running through from this boss as Knuckles is gonna be fucking weird. Oh, my mistake. As Knuckles and Knuckles. Nope, I ain't getting hit by that again. Screw you. <laughs> Come on, clone knuckles. You could have hit. You could have hit him there. Oh, damn, that was close. Too close for my comfort. Well, so far, so good. Man, I love the old man singing in the background. I am so glad that they brought him back. Old man is the most iconic element of Stardust Speedway. And if you disagree, well, you're just an old man singer hater. <laughs> well, that's one way to go about in life, right? If you don't like something, then you are this. And fuck you. <laughs> 